Hi there, my name is Mark and I'd like to welcome you to my Marvel Crisis Protocol Top 10 wish list. Um, we're going to kick things off at number 10 with Death Zed. Death Zed is a character that originated in the Transformers comic book and um, got his own spin off series slightly afterwards. Uh, he's quite well known in the UK uh, and has fought alongside uh, Captain Britain, the X Men, the Fantastic Four. Uh, been a member of S.W.O.R.D. teamed up with She-Hulk. Um, he was originally like 30 feet tall, uh, but a chance encounter with Doctor Who, uh, of all characters, actually shrank him down to a mere 6 foot 10. He's very strong, he's got super strength, he's super durable, he's an excellent marksman, and um, he'd be a really good addition. Okay, moving on to uh, number 9. Uh, the Lizard started off as Kurt Connors, is a humble scientist and friend of Peter Parker, uh, but following the loss of his arm, uh, he researched into genetic regrowth properties of lizards. Uh, whilst attempting at genetic manipulation was successful and allowed him to regrow his lost limbs, uh, it came at a price and Connors was transformed in, into the eight foot uh, reptilian creature known as the Lizard. It's been an on off again full of uh, Spider Man since the character made its debut. Um, and he is really strong. He's fought the thing to a standstill. He's extremely fast, especially when in water. And seeing as he spends most of his time in the sewers uh, that live and run underneath uh, New York, uh, use this to his advantage. He's also been known to control other smaller reptiles in the past, and he's almost bulletproof due to his scaly skin. And um, that brings us on to number eight, which is Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill um, is an alien whose uh, strange look is the fact that he's actually descended from a race of horse horses rather than um, monkeys like we are. Um, he uh, has the power of uh, the god Thor because um, he was worthy of wielding Mjolnir. He's one of the only few people who's actually been able to actually wield Mjolnir. He's also a very formidable warrior um, who's been genetically engineered to be among the best of his kind. Um, he is also a really good fan favourite. Um, he was also a champion at the arenas in Shakar, which um, kind of uh, puts him along the same side as uh, the Hulk, who's also a champion at Shakar. Okay, next up we have Rogue. Now, Rogue is quite a complex character. Uh, she started off as a villain, almost killed Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel, when she absorbed her powers, and then went on to become one of the backbone members of the X Men. She's got a mutant ability to absorb basically people's personalities, powers um, through her skin, which means she can never really get close to a true love gambit although they are now married. She can fly thanks to absorbing uh, Miss Marvel's powers. She's extremely strong and she's been teamed up with the Avengers, the X-Men and of course the Brotherhood of Mutants. And she's also the stepdaughter of um, Mystique. Okay, next on was Jennifer Walters who is the sensational She-Hulk. Um, she's the cousin to Bruce Banner. She's also um, basically <laughs> uh, one of the a bit like uh, Death said earlier on, she's one of the first characters to break the fourth wall. Um, she talks directly to the um, the reader in the comic books, which could actually be quite interesting. Um, and both her and uh, Death 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 said uh, precede uh, Deadpool. Um, she's very strong. Um, she's been a member of the Fantastic Four. She's been a member of a reserve member of the Avengers, and. Um, She's also teamed up with lots of other characters in the Marvel Universe. And she's gorgeous as well. Okay, and did I mention that she's a lawyer? Yeah, so if you've got any problems, she can sort them out for you uh, when you do all the collateral damage before damage control come in to tidy up afterwards. Okay, um, at number five, we have Craven the Hunter. Uh, he is one of Spider-Man's... Um, deadliest foes. He's also actually taken on the mantle of Spider-Man at one point as well. Um, he can hunt literally anything on the planet. He is a very, very good, very capable of um, using a lot of the herbs and elixirs that we find in Wakanda and other places in the in the world and 
using those to his advantage as he goes out and hunts the best prey on the planet. Uh, as you can see here, he's fighting against Venom. And, um, he's pretty strong, but he is only a human. He's not very much augmented apart from when he takes the herbs. And he's an excellent marksman that can fire almost any kind of weapon. He would be really great in the game as a, a character. Okay, getting to the top four now. These are my four favourite Marvel characters. This is Neymar. Uh, Neymar is the oldest character on this list. He's been around since the 1940s. Um, he fought against and with Captain America in World War II. Um, he can breathe underwater. He can control aquatic life. He can fly at very fast speeds. He's extremely strong. He's resilient to most poisons. And um, he would be... Uh, he's also a leader as well because he's a king he's also um, not very friendly with the people of Wakanda so um, that could be something that could go uh, with, if you're actually teaming up with Black Panther um, really cool character and um, I really do hope that um, he gets the big screen treatment very soon because he deserves it Okay, coming in at number three is one of my favourite characters in comic book history of all time. This is Captain Britain. Uh, Captain Britain would add another aspect to the mystical um, ways of um, Marvel Crisis Protocol because he gets his powers from Avalon and uh, Merlin um, because he's a member of a thing called the Captain Britain Corps. He's basically um, the British equivalent of Superman and Captain America mixed into one. He doesn't have the invulnerability of Superman. He is extremely strong. He's very fast. Um, he's not bulletproof. He can't shoot anything out of his eyes. But um, he is very, very hard. And um, also, his recent retellings was done by Alan Moore and Alan Davis. Some of the best comic works in um, the UK ever. And um, he's an ideal character for a British contingent. He's also got the leadership skill because he's the leader of the team at Excalibur. He's also been seconded to the Avengers on more than one occasion as well and he's also fought alongside the Avenger, uh, the X-Men. Okay, and um, at number two we have uh, Felicity Harding, uh, also known as Black Cat. Now Black Cat is kind of a, a strange character. She's got unconscious prob probability manipulation. She can affect the look around herself and uh, people around her so she can give them bad luck and give herself good luck but it always has a price and backfires on her she's extremely agile because she's a cat burglar and she's very very um, fast and nimble so she probably would make a great team up for Spider-Man in um, Marvel Crisis Protocol and um, she's also another gorgeous character like all the ladies on this uh, list Okay, so now we're coming up to number one, which is my all-time favourite Marvel character. And we have Wilson Fisk, uh, the Kingpin. Now, Wilson Fisk has no superpowers. He is just a man. He has no enhanced strength, although he's quite capable of lifting around a tonne and a half very, very easily. He's extremely strong and weighs over 400 pounds. And it's been the... Um, the a lot of people have actually thought that he's just a fat man he isn't it's 99 percent muscle right so fisk is um the overlord of a massive criminal empire that spans the more or less all of america and goes into japan as well um now he's also um very adept at lots of different forms of martial arts and he has bought, beaten spider-man and the thing to a standstill, Daredevil, Captain America, he's taken on most of the people with superpowers and he's just a normal man. He does use gadgets occasionally and he uses guns, he's got a lot of henchmen, but he is quite capable of taking people on in a one-on-one -on -one fight. And he's one of my favourite comic book characters of all time. And he would be sorely missed if he didn't make Marvel Crisis Protocol. Okay, so um, that's us coming towards the end of my quick list. Um, there are other characters who I haven't included, who I'd love to include, such as um, Warlock and Mystique from New Mutants, uh, sorry, Magique from New Mutants, who are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Nightcrawler, uh, Kurt Wagner, is another one of my favourite characters. Maybe I'll do those in another video. 
this is the first time I've ever tried this format, so um, thanks for watching, and uh, please give my website a check out. And thanks again.